The Bell V-280 Valor is a tiltrotor aircraft being developed by Bell Helicopter for the United States Army's Future Vertical Lift FVL, program. The aircraft was officially unveiled at the 2013 Army Aviation Association of America's AAA Annual Professional Forum and Exposition in Fort Worth, Texas. The V-280 made its first flight on 18 December 2017 in Amarillo, Texas. On 5 December 2022, the V-280 was chosen by the U.S. Army as the winner of the future long-range assault aircraft program to replace the Sikorsky U-60 Black Hawk. The Sikorsky Boeing team subsequently protested to overturn the decision, but this was denied by the Government Accountability Office in April, giving Bell the green light to push on with the program. The Bell V-280 Valor is the U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAA, a huge win for the manufacturer that will underpin its production line for decades to come. The initial $232 million contract will see Bell work on the preliminary design of the aircraft and produce virtual prototypes. But over the course of its lifetime, the FLRAA award, part of the U.S. Army's future vertical lift, FVL initiative, could be worth billions of dollars. With the initial contract awarded, Bell is ramping up its hiring to prepare for production. The company's physical capacity is enough to build the initial few aircraft needed by the end of the decade, but Bell will likely need to scale its facilities beyond the existing line size in Amarillo, Texas, where it also builds the V-22 Osprey and H-1 variants. Frank Litsara, the company's FLREA Director of Sales and Strategy, said about how the contract will impact Bell's manufacturing facilities and technology ambitions in the years to come. This is a once-in-a-generation opportunity for Team Valor, a company like Bell and technology like Advanced Tiltrotters, he said. This is a very important opportunity for us to get back into the Army formation. It is too early to say what the long-term upside looks like, but from a capability perspective, it's enormously positive for the U.S. Army, the U.S., and a lot of our security cooperation partners around the world. The V-280 is designed for a cruising speed of 280 knots, 320 miles per hour, 520 kilometers slash F, hence the name V-280. It has a top speed of 300 knots, 345 miles per hour, 556 kilometers slash F, a range of 2,100 nautical miles, 2,400 miles, 3,900 kilometers, and an effective combat range of 500 to 800 mi, 580 to 920 miles, 930 to 1,480 kilometers. Expected maximum takeoff weight is around 30,000 pounds, 14,000 kilograms. In one major difference from the earlier V-22 Osprey tilt rotor, the engines remain in place while the rotors and drive shafts tilt. A drive shaft runs through the straight wing, allowing both prop rotors to be driven by a single engine in the event of engine loss. The V-280 will have retractable landing gear, a triple redundant fly-by-wire control system, and a V-tail configuration. The wings are made of a single section of carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite, reducing weight and production costs. The V-280 will have a crew of four and be capable of transporting up to 14 troops. Dual cargo hooks will give it a lift capacity to carry at 10,000 pounds, 4,500 kilograms, M777 at two howitzer, while flying at a speed of 150 knots, 170 miles per hour, 280 kilometers slash F. The fuselage is visually similar to that of the U-60 Black Hawk medium lift helicopter. When landed, the wing is more than 7 feet, 2.1 meters, from the ground, allowing soldiers to aggress easily out of two 6-foot, 1.8 meters, wide side doors and door gunners to have wide fields of fire. All of the initial design is a utility configuration. Bell is also working on an attack configuration. Whether different variants of the V-280 would fill utility and attack roles or a single airframe could interchange payloads for either mission. Bell is confident the Valor Tiltrotor platform can fulfill both duties. The V-tail structure and rudder baiters, made by GCAN, will provide high levels of maneuverability and control to the airframe. It will be made of a combination of metals and composites. Features in the interior include seats that wirelessly charge troops' radios, night vision goggles, and other electronic gear and windows that display three-dimensional mission maps.
Special emphasis has been placed on reducing the weight of the V280 in comparison to the V22, which would reduce cost. Due to this, composites are used extensively in the wing, fuselage, and tail. Wing skins and ribs are made of a honeycomb-stiffened sandwich construction, with large cell carbon cores for fewer, larger, and lighter parts. Skins and ribs are paste-bonded together to eliminate fasteners. With these measures, costs are reduced by over 30% compared to a scaled V-22 wing. Bell expects the V-280 to cost around the same as an AS-64E or MH-60M. While the Osprey has a higher disc loading and lower hover efficiency than a helicopter, the V-280 will have a lower disc loading and longer wing for greater hover and cruise efficiency. In October 2021, Bell and Rolls-Royce jointly announced that the V-280 Valor powerplant would switch from the T-64 turboshaft used on the prototype to a derivative of the Rolls-Royce T-406-AE-1107C used on the Osprey which would be named the AE-1107F, at the same time as increasing power from 5,000 to 7,000 horsepower. The AE-1107 is a known element in Tiltrotor aircraft, with its two decades of prior use, which lowers sustainment costs and decreases risks of the project. Bell's manufacturing work was well underway before the contract announcement, Lazara said. For example, he pointed to the Manufacturing Technology Center, MTC, that was unveiled in Fort Worth, Texas, in August 2020. We put a lot of investment into being able to manufacture aircraft and looking at how to reduce costs, reduce manufacturing time, deliver higher quality, all of the things that are critical when you're involved in a program of this size over the long haul, he said. He pointed to the development of a new FLRAA drive system test lab in Grand Prairie, Texas, as well as its systems integration lab. This will be located on the same site as its flight research center in Arlington, Texas. The MTC is a 140,000 square foot, 13,000 square meter facility, which according to the company, is monitored and controlled by a network comprising Internet of Things, it and cybersecurity systems. It is designed to operate like a massive computer, according to Bell, and features a digital twin of itself to monitor the building, its equipment, operations, and processes. Lazara said the new center has technology that can significantly reduce the length of time it takes to produce particular components. He said this technology would reduce things that used to take days, weeks, or months to manufacture down to hours, because it's all done on the same machine or in the same center. Bell has previously highlighted aspects of the V280's design that will positively impact its manufacturing process, such as the fixed engine nacelle. This was implemented from the early stages of design, with the team identifying around 100 lessons learned from the V22 that they could use to improve the new platform, Lazara explained. Additionally, Lazara pointed to the wing design, with the V280 benefiting from a simpler design that is easier to manufacture. The V280 is a straight wing design, whereas the V22 wing was a little more intricate in the way that wing had to be produced. Our design on the V280 reduced manufacturing time and cost by about 50%. Lazara said the improved nacelle and wing design were the main developments that will enhance both the aircraft itself and Bell's design and manufacturing processes. However, there are other examples, he said, such as the ProProter blades have an improved design aimed at reducing wear and tear. There have also been lessons learned applied to the fly-by-wire system and the hydraulic system. On top of that, he pointed to the inlet barrier filters that were included by Rolls-Royce in the engines, which improved protection of the power plants. On August 22, 2023, Bell has signed a contract with Astronics Corporation to develop the electrical power and distribution system for the U.S. Army's V-280 Valor Tiltrotor aircraft. Under the agreement, Astronics will leverage its core power family of solutions to equip the aircraft with enhanced power conversion technology and a solid-state electronic circuit breaker. Through core power, the Tiltrotor helicopter will maintain clean and efficient power capability throughout Army operations. Core power has reduced overall system weight and supports modular open systems architecture to equip future integrations. On August 28, 2023, Bell signed a contract with Moog, Incorporated to supply flight control content for the U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft, FRAA, the Bell V-280 Valor.
Under the contract move will provide Bell with flight control computers and an active force field inceptor system for the cockpit controls, as well as power converter units and elements of the hydraulics. In addition, the company will provide major control surfaces such as rudder bader and flaperin actuators which control the tail and wing, swashblade actuators which control rotor blade pitch, and pylon conversion actuators which rotate the pylon from VTOO to airplane mode. On September 7, 2023, Bell also signed with GE Aerospace for development work on the Common Open Architecture Digital Backbone COADB, Voice and Data Recorder and System Health Awareness HEDES, for the Bell V280 Valor. The COADB builds on lessons learned from the Army's Mission System Architecture Demonstration MSAD, where it demonstrated the capability to rapidly integrate multiple operationally relevant sensors and equipment packages aligned to government-defined use cases.